Hey everyone, I have a little haul for you today. Hopefully it'll be a fun one with some good stuff. We'll see how that goes. So let's start with the watercolors because that's always fun, right? I got these three. So I'm kind of running low on ultramarine. I'm currently using a Rembrandt one and I think I'll just at some point I decided to switch to voiceover because my kids were screaming so much in the background. I thought I would spare you. So we're now going to swatch these watercolors. I was saying that I'll probably won't stop, won't buy Rembrandt colors from Jackson's anymore because they only carry the 10 milliliter tubes and Rembrandt also makes 20 milliliters, which are only slightly more expensive and have double the amount. So I'll probably get that from a local store that has really good prices on Rembrandt here in Austria. Okay, I wanted to swatch first the color I'm currently using, my ultramarine blue in my spring palette, and that's the Rembrandt one. I really, really like it. It is really granulating, which I love. So I just want to see how the Lucas compares. Pairs. Now the Lucas, you can see it, it's very intense, but keep in mind it's straight from the tube. It's a lovely shade. It does granulate, I think like all ultramarines, right? And slightly less than the Rembrandt. So I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but first I have to go through the tube of 24 milliliters, which I think is the biggest tube of watercolor that I have seen. So I'll probably buy my next tube in 2025 or something like that. No, I do use a lot of ultramarine, so we'll see. <laughs> it's the regular pigment of ultramarine. I wonder what their deep one looks like, the Lucas one. This is the ultramarine light. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, the Rembrandt one is a little bit more granulating. Okay, let's move on to Cadmium Red from Rembrandt. I only have the one Cadmium Red, I think it's called Cadmium Red Light by Holbein. I really love that color. It also has a beautiful granulation, but it's a lot more expensive, so I thought I would give the Rembrandt one a go. It's a really nice shade. That's what I was looking for. I wanted that orangey red. That's probably the only red that I feel like I want on my palette, if I want one at all and I really like also the lighter shades that it makes it's um, you know it's like these salmon type of color which I like okay moving on to the my Mary blue okay take 1000 <laughs> so um, this is a beautiful beautiful color uh, I know you can't see a lot of it but it's really lovely. It's the same pigment as the Daniel Smith Quinacridone Coral, which I've found most brands name it uh, usually Quinacridone Red, like my Mary Blue. So if you're on the hunt for a cheaper alternative, especially if you're in Europe where Daniel Smith is really expensive, try other brands Quinacridone Red. Uh, look online for swatches, just so you know you're getting you know the shade that you want. But it's this really beautiful, luminous, pinky, coral color. And also, the I really love the light shades of um, the cobalt red. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy. I think I probably prefer the Rembrandt Ultramarine Blue to the Lucas one. But you can see it also has a nice granulation and I think we will be good friends. I use it so much. It's nice to have a, a large tube. I wanted to try the number 10 uh, Escoda Ultimo. The Ultimo, I have a whole brush dedicated to a whole brush. I have a whole video. Did I say a whole brush? A whole video dedicated to synthetic brushes uh, where I talk about my favorites. So you can check that out, but I really wanted a nice number 10. I don't think I have one. I think the one that I have is the Rigor, which has longer bristles um, from the Versatile line. And this one is a little bit softer. And yeah, it looks like a beautiful brush. I love Escoda brushes. They're all fantastic. So I'm excited to play with that. Next, we have some 
paper. So I was happy to learn that uh, if you have been following my channel, you know that I love the Cuddy journals and I, lo I know a lot of you purchased them based on my recommendation and fell in love with them and that makes me very happy. I only wish that they were vegan. So I am currently using my last my last uh, Cuddy journal that has the thicker paper. Turns out that all of their papers that are over 200 GSM are sized with gelatin and therefore not vegan. But the lighter weight papers that, um, that I'm happy to see are still 100% cotton rag, which I love are vegan so i decided to try i know one person wrote me that they tried this and it was a disappointment uh, i hope i will feel differently <laughs> i can hope i know that i've been kind of less particular with papers um for certain kind of uses for sketching for drawing with just one or two layers of watercolor I've been really enjoying a lot of uh, cellulose paper, lighter weight paper, so I hope I will enjoy it. It looks beautiful, it looks so handmade, which is exactly what I love, and I really love that about the Cuddy journals. So this one is, I'll tell you what the package says, nothing, Cuddy Fat Book. <laughs> The size of it, I can't remember, is it a 20, 20 centimeter, 20, let's say 20, 21 centimeters, 20 and a half centimeters square, and so around 8 inches, and it has a lot of pages. It is going to take me quite a while to get through it. It has the beautiful deckled edges, which I love, and then it has the cover um, has this gray paper that looks exactly the same like the watercolor paper. So really, really pretty. This is a stitched sketchbook like all of their sketchbooks, which again is something I really love and enjoy. And then these are uh, glued together, the signatures. So I'm excited because I'm running out of sketchbooks. I'm currently working in one that I made. Where is it? And I have also a video dedicated to what I'm doing with it. So I made this one. I'm really enjoying it, but sometimes it's still nice to have one that is already made for you. And then this one I think is the same, only a lot smaller. Yeah, it's also a sketchbook. You see that the binding is different. It has like this it looks actually really pretty, um, looks better, like more aesthetic than this, although this has that more handmade look, but this still looks very, very handmade. And obviously this is a smaller size. I think this one is 15 centimeters. Yeah, something like that, a little bit more than 15, and it's a lot thinner than this fat one it's called fat book and then the inside it actually feels like a really nice weight to it i have to check again this one is definitely thinner they're beautiful i really love them i wish all of them were vegan but it is what it is and if that's not a concern to you, then I highly recommend them. Their huge one is fantastic. Um, I will have to see what I think of the thinner paper. I definitely like the look of it and the feel of it. So we'll see how it performs. And now the last thing I got is this one I blame Aliona. <laughs> For this one, it's a set of their twin pen markers. I showed you in a previous uh, haul that I got the Tombow ones. Um, these are from Japan and these are a lot more expensive. This set that has 16 cost, I think, a third of what this set it has 18. And um, they look exactly like these 
I got this set uh, a while back. These are by Mabu, which is Spanish, Portuguese? I'm not sure, German? I don't know, I know it's somewhere in Europe. It doesn't say where they're made, but I got this set and they are actually really lovely to paint with. And there was one color that I'm like obsessed with. <laughs> and <laughs> I wonder, it's like this color, it's just fantastic. So these are the Marabou ones. They're also, um, they have the double tip. And by the look of these, I suspected that they are actually made by the same brand. The packaging is identical. The barrel is slightly lighter gray than the Jackson's one. I have really good experience with Jackson's own like brand. Uh, their watercolored are rumored to be made by Sennelier, so that's great formula, great value. Their brushes, I don't know who makes their brushes. I'm sure it's a good uh, brush maker because they're also fantastic. So I thought I would give these markers a try. I do enjoy using them. So let's swatch the colors and then I'll see how many <laughs> duplicates I have with this set. I just have this one set from Malibu and um, I suspect there are a few. I can already see there are a few dupes. So let's see, this one also has a dual tip. It looks really, really similar to the Malibu ones. And these are just really, really fun to journal with and play around with. Um, I guess they're also water soluble. Let's see. Yeah, they are. Although I have really, I have come to realize that what I like to use with water are traditional watercolors and watercolor pencils. All of the um, water soluble markers are just they just don't work as well as watercolors. And if you're already using water, might as well use regular watercolors. So this one is the yellow. It's really nice. Um, but I do prefer these kind of markers to something like Copic or other alcohol markers because those are just, um, you know, they bleed through. They're really expensive. So I don't really... I'm not a fan. That's a pretty pink. Okay, so my battery ran out. I continued to swatch these for you. And I think the colors are really lovely. They feel really nice, the tips. You can see that the color goes on smoothly. That's, you know, a lot of the issues with markers that are not something like Copic is that it's like very streaky. But these and the Tombow markers just lay out color really beautifully and I really enjoy playing with them. Uh, as for, this is the Malibu set. I think they are made by the same company. Something about the caps of the Jackson's one just feels a little bit cheaper, but absolutely not a deal breaker. I think the price of this set is fantastic and the colors are lovely. Um, it has four of the same colors as this Marabou set. These two are not in this set. They are really exactly the same colors, which also makes me think that they are made by the same brand. I didn't compare the black, but yeah. So this is the Malibu one, this is the Malibu one, this is the Malibu, this, and then these two that are not um, dupes, <laughs> or these are not dupes. But yeah, if you were interested in one of the sets from Malibu, then check out the Jacksons because I think it's the same thing and you will pay less um, Yeah, I'll just show you what I've been doing with these kind of markers. I've been mostly using them for my uh, journal my Japan journal and They're really fun to paint With so yeah, that's why <laughs> mostly why I got these.
<laughs> so thank you so much for watching i will link everything below and i'll see you in another video very soon make sure you subscribe bye